Hello there, I'm Katie. Welcome to this Android application development tutorial. In this series, we'll be writing apps for my favorite phone OS, Android. Before we start any coding, we have to have the right tools in place. For our purposes, that's going to be the Eclipse IDE and the Java SDK. I'll be using Eclipse Indigo for J2E developers along with the Java SDK version 1.6. Once you have your Eclipse environment running, you need to add the Android Development Tools plugin, which extends the capabilities of Eclipse to let you work with Android projects. To add the ADT, navigate to Help, then Install New Software. In the Install window, click Add to add a repository. In the Add Repository dialog, I'll put in ADT plugin repository, but any descriptive name will do. In the Location field, you have to provide a URL to the tools. See the links below this video. Click OK. This should have added the Developer Tools node. Select the tick box by its name and click Next. Review the items to be installed and again click Next. Agree to all the license agreements after reading them, of course. Click Finish. Be patient, it will take some time to download and install the components. When prompted with the security warning about unsigned content, click OK to continue. At the end you will have to restart Eclipse. As we just have the Android plugin installed in Eclipse, we have yet to install the development tools for the individual platforms we will be coding for. After Eclipse restarts, you will see the Welcome to Android Development Wizard. Select the platforms that you are going to develop for. I've selected Android 2.1, which is widely supported. Change the target location directory for the installation as needed, then click Next. Choose whether you want your usage statistics sent to Google and click Finish. When prompted, read and accept the package licenses. Click Install. After the install process completes, you can check whether the packages are loading correctly. Navigate to Window, then Android SDK Manager. Here you can see all the SDKs that are installed along with their additional components. Here also you can install other SDKs that you may need to develop and test your applications. Our environment is now set up and able to emulate mobile devices. If you would like to use a physical device during development and you're using the Windows OS, you must install a USB driver. You will find more information here. In my case, the vendor provided driver works well. For working with a physical device, you also have to set it up to allow installation of non-market applications and turn on USB debugging. On the device, go into the settings and navigate to Applications. Check Unknown Sources. Click Development. Check USB Debugging. We're all done. Your development environment and your device are now set up. Until next time!